With the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo being out for a few days, players have gotten to experience new things in the combat, as well as control Sephiroth for the first time. Sephiroth has a unique fighting style and has a lot of follow-up attacks that a lot of the other characters do not have. So in this video, we will break down how to use Sephiroth and to make sure you're using him in the most effective way. When switching into Retaliation Stance, Sephiroth is able to parry. When you time a perfect parry, you'll now have the option to hit Triangle for a counterattack. After that counterattack, you can hit Triangle again to do Retaliation. You'll continue being in this stance unless you dash out or you hit R1 again. Next, we'll be going over all the possible attacks once you charge up your Aura Charge. The first attack we'll be going over is Telurk Fury. Telurk Fury activates once you hit the enemy four times with your square attack. Then you have the option to attack with Telurk Fury with Triangle. This attack is probably an attack you didn't even know about and that's Shift Slash. This attack happens if Aura Charge is filled and if you dash with Sephiroth, you'll see for a brief moment that you can hit Triangle and trigger Shift Slash. When Aura Charge is filled and Sephiroth is not in the middle of a combo, his triangle attack will be Pierce. Pierce will make him do a forward lunging attack. When the Aura Charge is filled and you attack one to three times, Sword Dance will be Sephiroth's triangle attack, which is an attack where he strikes and backs up. When in the air, Sephiroth's triangle attack is Sky Shatter. What is unique about Sephiroth's abilities is that they have follow-up attacks with Triangle. When doing the ability Zanshin, you can follow up the attack doing Zanshin Rising. When doing the ability Hell's Gate, your follow-up attack will be Infernal Gate. Sephiroth's Limit also has a follow-up Triangle attack. When using Opto Slash, Sephiroth can follow up doing Octo Slash Prime. Now for the synergy skills between Sephiroth and Cloud. Dual Blade Dance allows Sephiroth and Cloud to unleash three consecutive close ranged physical attacks. This is great when you want to do lots of damage. When in control of Cloud, Cloud and Sephiroth have the ability to do counter fire using Circle or X. This will allow Cloud to counter attack a ranged attack. Also while controlling Cloud, you have the ability to do Void Shatter. This is a great attack that increases stagger and the longer you hold it down, the more damage you'll do. Lastly, we have Synergy abilities. Cloud and Sephiroth have the ability to perform Double Helix. In order to perform a synergy ability, you'll need these things called pips. These are the little blue rectangles underneath their ATP gauge. A certain amount is required to perform synergy abilities. And that is all when it comes to breaking down how to play a Sephiroth, as well as the new additions they've added to the combat. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. As soon as the game comes out, I'll definitely be streaming it here on YouTube as well as Twitch and I will be uploading highlights on TikTok. So I appreciate follows all around and yeah, thank you guys for watching.